Hey YouTube, Ty Condors here doing another action figure review. Now uh, before I proceed, these reviews are intended for collectors over the age of 13 to buy by FTC and Copa rules. And today I am taking a look at the three, no well, actually four, uh, Haya Toys Predators releases. Now these are the standard releases of the uh, Super Predators from the Predators movie. They do have a few other releases. Most notably the uh, cloaked versions of some of these Predators. So the kind of translucent uh, plastic ones, which I'm not a big fan of. I prefer the kind of standard ones. So it's just the standard ones. There's also an unmasked version of Berserker, which I haven't got yet. I don't think he's been released as the time of this recording. Or at least on my pre-order hasn't shipped or arrived yet. I got all these from... Well, I got... The three predators from Big Buy Toy Store, but the hounds I got from a local retailer. They also have the the it's the Jungle Hunter technically, but it's not the Jungle Hunter from the first Predator. It's the one that's strung up on the totem in the movie, but it is based off the original Predator look. So they do have that one as well. I think he's just called the um, I think he's just called the Battle Damage Jungle Hunter. I remember correctly i'm not sure his exact name but we'll get into that in a minute so the boxes i'll just go through one box because it's quite they're all quite standard stuff so the boxes are this this is the one for berserker so you have clear window showing all of the, the figure and all its accessories in the front you have an image from the predators movie logo flipping around to the back of the box you have a proto or photos of the prototype in a couple of action poses the blurb exquisite minis new standard series 1 to 18 scales figures then you have the predators figures logo here predators symbol on both sides and that's pretty much it it's pretty much the same for all the other figures let's just bring in the hounds one let's see two hounds on the back pretty standard affair now before i get on to really each individual accessories each figure comes with one of these bases which well each of the predator figures comes with one of these bases and these these h clips so that if you have more stands these are the ones from my actual predator 2 figures you can see it's all still the same kind of standard uh whatchamacallit still same kind of mud style base so it'll just clip into place using these H or I style clips, whichever way you want to describe them. And you have a single peg hole and there's a peg hole on the feet of the Predators. I don't believe, yeah, there's no peg hole on the back, on the bottom of the hounds. The hounds are different in the sense that they don't come with one of these bases, which is interesting, but you do get two hounds in the pack as opposed to just a single hound. And I suppose that's their way of, you know, balancing out the accessories the hounds themselves don't come with any accessories but the figures themselves do now i am missing one accessory from falconer or tracker but they both come with the same one and that is this the predator skull so like the standard style predator skull if i just get that focus on it both tracker and berserker or not tracker and berserker uh, tracker and falconer come with one of these I can only find one of them. I had taken it out of the box and I'm not sure where I left it. But just bear in mind it is exactly the same detail, same wash, exactly the same look. So there's no difference between them. Falconer comes with two closed fist hands. Uh, one is the armoured fist for his left hand and then the kind of unarmoured hand, which is interesting enough. Tracker comes with two closed fist hands as well, but he has the armoured gauntlets on both hands, so they are unique to him. And then for Berserker, Berserker is a bit different to the others. Now all the figures, when you get them, come with the standard open grasp hand. Um, I didn't switch them out for both Falconer and Tracker because I kind of like them on them. Uh, Berserker has a slight difference to this. So Berserker has a closed hand for his left uh, it has a bit more detail, painted detail on it than the standard Predator hand that he has, which is interesting. He also comes with that outstretched uh, 
grasp kind of hand but he also comes with a grasping hand itself so and the reason behind that is he comes with one accessories that the others don't which is this which is the spine skull on his mind and what you're kind of meant to do is throw it into the sand so it looks like that scene where he just rips the spine out of uh is it walter goggins is that the name of the actor yeah i can't remember his character's name but uh when he just rips the head and spine out of him in the movie so you have that now articulation wise these are all pretty much standard they're all they all t seem to have the same kind of buck with just different gear so i'll go through articulation pretty much now berserker has this plasma cannon and so does tracker tracker's one doesn't really want to move berserker's one kind of keeps popping off it's on a little ball joint so it is a bit of a pain in the butt that it kind of falls off but you can position it the way you want it which isn't too bad but for now i'm going to take it off his arms can go up that much can do a full 360 but his armor does get in the way but you can move that out of the way the blades do not come out of their hands so they're kind of defaulted what's interesting to note is on both falconer and berserker this gauntlet piece is actually separate so it can rotate around the left gauntlet isn't a separate piece so on some of the other predators they had the gauntlets you could actually rotate the whole gauntlet around but um not on these they're slightly different he has a single swivel on the elbow with a single joint now falconer's here is quite tight so i'm afraid at some point i might rotate it and the whole thing will snap i do recommend dunking these guys into hot water when you first get them because a lot of their joints are very stiff very tight but you can see it's a lot easier on this hand hands are just on a ball peg so if i just bring them up again stress hot water before sopping these out or hot yeah, heat them up before sopping the hands in case you snap that peg because they're very small he can do the splits that much he can kick forward kick back there is a slight bend up at the top of the the uh bicep no not bicep uh up of the hip double jointed knees you can get that much back again this is another area that mine was stuck on and these are supposed to rotate around uh on when i first got them they were very tight these armor plates can slip down they're a separate piece so they're not really i think they're supposed to be glued in place but they did come loose so another thing just to be wary of is a dual jointed abs there's an ab here and a bottom joint. He has a ball jointed head. It's actually a double jointed neck. So one at the base of the head, one at the base of the neck. So you have that. Now it's the same on all the figures. Um, and the hands have a sole because of that ball joint. So you do have that. Just bring in tracker just briefly. Again, so hindered by his armor plate forward back different sculpting but can still do the 180 he has that swivel again mine was tight on that one so here his arm is on or the blade arm is on a swivel but his alternate gauntlet isn't which is as i said something to watch out for very tight on this side he has a plasma caster that doesn't really want to move so i wouldn't force it uh, again different armor but the bodies look like they're the same body and he's actually not bad he has a bit more armor plating like his legs are different because he has more armor plating than berserker so some of the sculpts are different but some share, share excuse me share sculpt mostly berserker and falconer they tend to share a lot of details again his this armor plating is loose you can see they have the same leg armor pretty much the way stuff is pretty much the same as all well and torso wise you know, they're not too bad so now that weird kind of fin or gill type design on their legs which is kind of interesting and with that said that brings us on to the others creatures that aren't predators but are predator hounds now these are the first version of predator hounds 
Uh, we saw another one in the The Predator movie, which was looked more like a predator head on a dog body, which wasn't the best design. I much prefer these designs. So what you get in this two pack, is you get one with a slightly open mouth, and you get one then with a more roaring open mouth, which is pretty sweet. Articulation wise, then they're, they're not brilliant, but you do get some articulation. The legs are just on swivels, so you get four to back. Same with the, the back legs. Actually, it's probably better if I do in this one. Uh, forward and back. You get some slight different, uh, slight variations on the paint between them. Slight different washes. So they're they're not exactly identical. And then the heads are on sofas. A bit hard to do with this one because his head is kind of blocked by these uh, spikes. But you can rotate it. This one is a bit more easier to rotate. But you can rotate. It would have been nice if they had articulated the jaw. So you could actually open and close them out. But overall, really good figures. So um, I did rewatch Predators recently, and I did notice that in the film, I think Tracker actually had about six of these hounds at the very beginning. I know you kind of see him with two, or you know, with two near the very end, because I think that's all that's left of his pack. But in, like, if you wanted to be army building, or wanted to be more true to the, the film, you could get like six of them and have them in the various poses. So it is cool. I do wish we kind of had a full close mouth version as well. Uh, I don't think there is one. I think it's only the more open mouth and then the slightly more uh, open mouth. It would, and as I said, it would have been way cooler if they could have just added in a little articulation point on that jaw so it open and close it. I think the NECA ones have that. In fact, I do have NECA ones. If I just move slightly to the side, bear with me a moment. Sorry about the weight, but I do have the NECA version. And if I remember correctly, they do have the articulation mark about. It would have been cool if they had added that to these ones. But you can see the scale is way bigger. So they had a lot more room to maneuver with, or sculpting wise, I would imagine. Overall, really good figure series. I think these are still available at high, on Big Bad Toy Store at the time of this recording. If so, I'll drop a link in the description below. And as always, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoy this video.